What is up, y'all? This is Andy with Poster Grind, and today we're going to create some awesome halftone style typography in Photoshop. <laughs> I'll be using a 150 pixels per inch resolution on this project. This halftone works really well if you go for some three-dimensional style type like this. I'm using Liquor Store 3D. I'm drunk. You drunk? Everybody's drunk! Go ahead and type out what you want to type out. Today we're going to do multiple pieces of typography. So I hit Command J, made a copy. I'm going to do another one like so. And the next move is to go to new layer. Then we're going to hit G on the keyboard to bring up your gradient. And then on the gradient, go up to your gradient editor and make sure you select the one that goes from white to nothing. Then hit OK. You're also going to want to make sure you're on this tab which is the linear gradient tab. Then let's go ahead and make ourselves a gradient going from left to right. And that's just gonna buzz over our type. And it's gonna make sense once we create our halftone because we're gonna get different levels of halftone. Now go to new layer. Then we're gonna do a screen grab of the art canvas by holding down shift, option, command, E. Then from here, we're gonna right click on that new layer, convert to smart object. And then we're gonna go up to filter, pixelate, color halftone. Now we're in color halftone. We're gonna choose a max radius of five and then we're gonna have all of our channels at 100 and then hit okay. And then like that, you can see we have this awesome halftone technique. Now, if we wanna create this so that it's easy to export and put into a poster, what we're gonna do is go to select color range and then on color range, hit sampled colors and just hit the white, hit okay. Go down to your adjustment layer that is called solid color. Go ahead and select black, hit okay, then Click on your mask and hit Command-I to invert it. Now let's go ahead and hide all of our bottom layers. Go back up to that layer that we just created. Right click, convert to smart object. And now we have a file that's easy to export and put on a poster or t-shirt or whatever, or whatever you're creating. The other thing we can do is go ahead and add some color. So I'm gonna go to the adjustment layer, solid color. And then on the color picker, we're just gonna hit okay create a clipping mask by hitting option command G. And now we've clipped that color to our typography. And there you go, we've added halftone to our typography. Thanks for watching.